Hi, Helen from crystalsandcrochet.com here. In this video tutorial I would like to show you how to make the bubblegum shawl. It's a triangular shawl with a very neat edging on the long edge and then a bobble or pom-pom border. Slightly different to the normal pom-pom border you may have seen done elsewhere. And this I've designed especially for the new Stylecraft candy swirl cakes. Like a lot of the different cake yarns that are available at the moment. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with a magic ring. This is just the way that I make mine. Over the finger and cross over. Hook under the first loop, over the second loop, pull through and just make a slip stitch. Okay, so that's how I do my magic rings. Really, really simple and easy. Okay, so what we're going to do is chain three, one, two, and three, and that counts as our first double crochet. Now, I always say it's a good idea to just put a stitch marker underneath the top two loops of that first chain three, so that when you're working back, because you're going to work in rows, and when you come back the other way, that's going to be the very last stitch that you work into. Okay, so it just makes it a little bit easier. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in a teeny weeny bit so that I'm just a little bit closer. There we go. Okay, so now we need to make six double crochet into our ring here. Okay, so obviously with the double crochet this is US terms so it's yarn over into the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops twice. So that's one, two, three, five and number six. So we've got seven in total because that first chain three counts as a double crochet. So we've got seven there. So in the fourth one, that's the middle one there, we're going to pop another stitch marker that's going to become your center stitch. So as you build up row on row on row, just keep moving that stitch marker up on each row and it will just help you when you turn and come back the other way to know which stitch it is that's the point stitch that you're going to work into. So that's round one. Okay, so for round two or row two I should say sorry. Um, round one we finish on the right side there's no need to really pull that center up just yet okay so we are going to chain three and then turn and each time you work on the wrong side you will always make a second stitch in that very first stitch. So the same one that your chain is coming out of there. Okay, so we've now got two double crochet in that very first stitch because our chain three counts as a double crochet. And I'm just going to pop a stitch marker in there into the top of the chain three. Okay, 
they're all a little bit close at the moment but you'll soon see as we work further on obviously they become further apart and they won't be in your way okay so we now need to double crochet in the next two stitches Okay, now we've reached our point stitch so we can slip that stitch marker out of there and we're going to make five double crochet into that one stitch okay so there we go one two and three that's our center stitch so I'm going to pop my stitch marker back in there and then that's three so we need two more okay then we need to double crochet in the next two stitches and then you can see where we put our stitch marker in the top of that chain three we need to make two double crochet into the top of that chain three so if you can try and get under both of those two top loops and it will keep your stitches uh, more anchored and more solid on the end of your row Okay, so that's our second row, although you'll notice in the pattern these first few rows don't have numbers because they don't form part of the pattern repeat. Okay, this is just basically to build up to where we start the pattern repeat. Okay, okay so again for the next row we're going to chain three that's three and then turn and now we're coming back to work on the right side of our work again so when you start a right side row we're going to in total have three double crochet in this very first stitch so our chain three counts as the first one so we're going to make two more double crochet into that very first stitch okay and then you're going to double crochet in the next five stitches okay so we've got one let's get a little bit more yarn two, three, four and five. Okay so we've got three double crochet in that very first stitch. One of them is the chain three. So I'm just going to pop my marker in there and then we've done five more then when we get up to the point stitch this time we just make three double crochet in there so there's one two and three and then stitch marker back into the second one which is the center one so that's the point stitch moving up okay we're then going to double crochet in the next five one two three four 
and 5. And then in the top of the chain 3, which is our last stitch on this side, we're going to make 3 double crochet. Okay, so there we go. 1, 2, and 3. Now I have found, it's the same when I'm designing squares and exactly the same when I'm doing triangles um, because shawls are something I've got lots of ideas for but it's taken me a while to really get the perfect recipe for getting this lovely straight edge and not being too pointed here so getting a nice sort of softly rounded point and a perfectly straight edge and my little secret recipe is on the wrong side you're going to increase by one in the first stitch so you have two double crochet in the first stitch or it could be single crochet later on and two in the last stitch and five stitches in that center stitch then when you're doing a right side row you start off by increasing two on the bottom edge so three double crochet in that first stitch three in the point stitch and three in the last stitch so each time each row that you're doing you're actually increasing each side by three stitches each time but we're just jiggling them about and this way I have found you get a completely perfectly straight long edge okay so that's our third row done so let's switch straight into our fourth row again we're going to chain three and turn and now we're going to do just one more in that first stitch okay because we're now we're working a wrong side row again now so it will be two here and five up here okay so we've got two there and then we're going to go one two three and eight. It's really important to get these first few rows right because then when you actually start the pattern repeat, which we will start in another row, if you've got it perfectly correct and all your stitches in the right places then it's really really easy to grow the rest of your shawl, or your bubblegum shawl. Okay, so let's take that one out. So we're on a wrong side row, so we need five double crochet in this top stitch. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, that's my center one. So in goes my stitch marker. And then two more. Oops. Okay, and then again carry on down this side and in that last stitch, which is the top of your chain three, you're going to make two double crochet in that last one. I'll catch up with okay, you there. Okay, so there's our wrong side row completed. So we now need to make one more right side row and then we start our pattern repeat. So again, it's chain three, turn and two more double crochet in this first stitch. 
So we've got one and two. Okay, and again just double crochet in each stitch up to the point stitch. Okay, so there we are up to the point stitch. Then in our point stitch we just have three stitches on this side. Okay, so one, oops, two. That's our centre one, so I'll pop my marker back in, and three. And then again we're going to come all the way down the other side and we're going to put three stitches in this last, in the top of this chain three space. Okay, I'll catch up with you there. Okay, so we finished that last row. And at this point, definitely double check that not your point stitch, but along both sides, you've got 15 double crochet. Okay, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 on that side, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 on that side. Okay, so that's the first, if you like, foundation part and now we're actually going to start the pattern repeat. Okay, so we start the pattern repeat with the bobble row or the bubble gum row. Okay, so we're going to chain one and then we're going to turn and each of the bobble rows is always worked onto the wrong side so we need to make sure that we're going to do two stitches into that very first stitch. Okay, and then every single bobble row that you do, no matter how big your shawl gets, will always start the same way. So you've got two single crochet in that first stitch and then you are going to single crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, I've just moved my light around. Hopefully you will be able to see more clearly. Right, but I'm still, even though this is not a, a chain at the beginning here and it's a single crochet, I'm still going to put a stitch marker in that very first stitch so that I know where my last stitch will fall. Okay, so now we're going to make a bobble. So in this very next stitch we are going to do a double crochet five together. Okay, and I've just zoomed in a little bit as well so that you can see it very clearly. So we're going to yarn over into the stitch, pull up a loop and just pull through two loops so you're making a partial double crochet. Okay, and again just through two loops. So that's twice three times, four times, and five times. So we've got six loops on our hook. Okay, yarn over and pull through all of them. Okay, so that's a double crochet five together, but now we want to turn it into a bobble stitch. So we are going to single crochet in the next five stitches. And your, the top loop of your bobble stitch will be slightly larger than your other stitches. Okay, so we've got one, 
two, three, four, and five. Okay, and that's a repeat that we will do continually. So we're going to bobble stitch into that next stitch and single crochet in the next five. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're on this very first row, we're only going to do that repeat twice. Okay, I'll catch up with you when we okay, get here. So then into our point stitch, remember we're working on the wrong side, so we're going to make five stitches in here. So we're going to make two single crochet and then we're going to make a bobble stitch and then two more single crochet okay so again we're doing a double crochet five together for our bobble stitch that's one two three Four and five, yarn over and pull through all six loops. Okay, then we want two more single crochet in this point stitch. Okay, so we've got one, whoops, nearly had one anyway. One, two, and then our marker goes in to our bobble stitch. Okay and then all you're going to do is repeat what you did on this side coming down here. Um, so in reverse you're going to do five single crochet, bobble stitch, five single crochet, bobble stitch and I'll catch up with you when I've done that second bobble okay, stitch. Okay so there's the second bobble stitch done. Now you should have three stitches left at the end here. So you're going to single crochet in these two and then in the top of the chain three here you're going to do two single crochet. Okay so let's do that, let's go one, two, pop my stitch marker out and make two single crochet in that last stitch or the top of the chain three. Okay so for your bobble row every time you're going to start with two single crochet in the first stitch then two single crochet then your repeat starts with a bobble stitch single crochet in the next five bobble stitch single crochet in the next five okay and that repeat will always take you to the center stitch. Okay, if it doesn't you'll have missed something somewhere along the line maybe back here. Okay. In that center stitch you're going to do two single crochet, bobble stitch, two single crochet and then your repeat on the other side is five single crochet, bobble stitch, five single crochet, bobble stitch, all the way down to those last three stitches where you're going to single crochet in two and then in that last stitch you're going to make two single crochet. Okay, so you've got four single crochet before your bobble and seven single crochet from the last bobble to the point one. Okay, and that's important to remember for the next round. Okay, so let's go straight into the next round. We're going to chain three and turn, and then you can see your beautiful bobbles. Okay, the reason that bobbles are always made on the wrong side is so that you get the back of the stitch showing on top of the bobble so that you get this lovely spine and it sits really neatly. It's also the reason for using single crochets in between, it's to 
squash the stitch down so that it pops out into a bobble. Okay, so back to a right side row. So we start with three stitches in that very first stitch. So our chain three is there. And we're then going to put two more double crochets into that first stitch. Okay, now remember we have four stitches before the bobble. Okay, so three into the first one and then double crochet in the next three stitches. And don't forget that sneaky little one that hides in there behind the bobble. Okay, this is why it's really important that particularly when you do this first row after the bobbles that you really count your stitches as you're going. Okay, so that's my third double crochet. Then we go into the bobble stitch and then we know we've got five stitches between. Okay, so there we go. One, two, three, four, and that little one that's hiding in there, five. Okay, so the bobble, sti the bobble stitch row is the first row of our repeat, and we're then going to work three double crochet rows between each bobble row. So right side is always three in the first one, three in the top one. Wrong side is two in the first one, five in the top one. Okay, let me just whiz along and double check with you this last section. Okay, so we're gonna go into the bobble and then we know we did five single crochets into the bubble and one, two, three, four, and five. Now remember in that corner we did two single crochets, bobble stitch, two single crochets. So we've done five there and we've got two more stitches, okay? And this is particularly where if you're not careful, you will miss that sneaky little stitch that's hiding under the bobble. Okay, so then into the bobble, because the bobble's now our point stitch, three, double crochet and pop a stitch marker into the middle one. Okay, so then the same thing applies coming down the other side. This time we're going to have seven stitches before we come to that popcorn. Then five popcorn and then in this case we're going to after the last popcorn, we are going to double crochet in three stitches and then three double crochet in that last one. And I'll catch up with you okay. there. Okay, so bobble row is row one of the repeat, right side row is row two, and then row three is a wrong side row, row four is another right side row. Okay, so I'm just going to whiz through those because they're very, very simple and easy to follow. You should know what you're doing by now with the right and wrong side rows. So I'll just whiz through those so that you can see the full pattern repeat. Okay, so that's our full repeat done. So we've got the bobble row, which is worked on the wrong side. Then we do a right side row, a wrong side row, a right side row. 
Okay, and then you're going to start again with another bobble row. Okay, and you are going to repeat that. Let me just move these out the way. You are going to repeat that. Um, and let's check how many times for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen times. Okay. And once you've done that fifteenth repeat, just then do one more bobble row. And then I'm going to show you how to do the edging, which is not just the pom pom border along here but how we're going to edge this top part as well. So that rather than just being the raw edge of the stitches, it's going to have a really neat finish to it. Okay, so you carry on, get all your repeats done, and then when you're ready, come back to the video and I'll take you through the last rows and the pom-pom border. Okay, so we've finished with a last bobble row. Now we're going to do the edging and border. It's optional for you to work along this edge, but I just think it gives the whole project, the whole shawl, a much nicer finish. Okay, so what we're going to do first is chain one, turn our work over and then again we're going to work two single crochets into that very first stitch and I'm just going to pop my stitch marker in there so I know that is the very first stitch. So as I work along the edge, I know exactly where to stop. Okay, and then all you're going to do is single crochet in each and every stitch along the edge, just to give a neater edge to work our border into. Okay, so just keep going all the way along, right up to the point at the end. Okay, so there we go, right up to the very end. And as you can see, we've just now got a nice neat edge there. So in that point stitch, make, or the point bobble, make three single crochet. One, two, and three. And again, just pop your stitch marker back in that point one. Okay, and then you're going to come all the way down the other side, right to the end, and just two single crochet in... Let's find the end. There we go. Just two single crochet in that very, very last stitch there. And I'll catch up with you again when I get down to the end. Okay, so we've come all the way along to the end with two single crochet in that very last stitch. And I've popped a stitch marker in my last stitch. So if you're following the pattern and haven't added any extra rows or anything, you will have 200 single crochet on each side with one single crochet in the point. Okay, so now we're going to work along the long edge here. And because with using the candy swirl, obviously we've got different colors working along and what we want to do is give a really nice neat edge to this so we're going to work it in two parts so the first part basically we are going to slip stitch along 
and then in the second part after we've come all the way round with the bobble border up to here we then finish with a final row of single crochets in those slip stitches. So everything is worked on the right side now and we are essentially working in the round. Okay, so for each single crochet we will make one slip stitch and for each double crochet we'll make two. So what I'm going to do here is just chain one and then slip stitch into that single crochet. Don't keep make your slip stitches too tight because you are going to need to get under those loops in order to make a stitch in there. So make sure that you can easily get your hook underneath those two loops. Okay. So we're not going to go around the stitch, we're going to go into it. So here we have a chain three. So we are just going to slip stitch into one of the links and then into the next one. Okay. Again, we've got a double crochet here, so or a chain three, so we're just going to go into the side, make a slip stitch, into the side, make a slip stitch. Okay, so two for every double crochet and one for every single crochet. Okay, so I've got three rows of double crochet. Now I'm on to a single crochet. Okay, and then back onto the doubles. So two in there. Okay, and you're just going to carry on working all the way along like that, making sure that you can easily get your hook into there because that's where you're going to make your single crochets. And when we do, when we come along to do that, you'll see how beautifully neat it makes this and how you don't get um, bits of different colours coming down as you're working. Okay, so keep going. Two slip stitch into the side of every double crochet, one into the side of every single crochet. That's on your bobble rows. Okay, and I'll catch up with you when I get to the middle just to cover that section. Just keep going, working nice and loosely. If this starts to curl up like this, then you're doing your slip stitches too tight. So just loosen them off and make sure that everything is sitting nice and flat and loose. Okay, so we're working all the way along and you've done two slip stitches into the side of that very first row that we did, then you just want to do one into the center and then start again all the way along. So without that one you'll have 117 coming all the way along here and then you're going to have 117 going all the way along there. Plus you've got this one and you've also got a chain one on this first end that we did and you will have a chain one on the end but I'll catch up with you there. Okay so don't forget to make that one slip stitch in to that ring and this tail end that we've still got here will work away once we've finished doing all of our stitches along this edge. Okay so I'll catch up with you okay, at the so other end. Come all the way along to the end and then I'm going to chain one and slip stitch into that very, very first, whoops, start that again, slip stitch into that very first stitch where I've put my stitch marker. Okay, so that's all the way along the edging 
with slip stitches completed. So now we're going to make the bobble border and then we finish off by coming a lot back along this edge. So we're working all the way around the whole shawl at the moment. Okay, so to make our pom-pom border or bobble border we are going to chain four. One, two, three, four. If you've seen the um, pom-pom border made anywhere on YouTube or instructions or whatever, this is a slightly different version. Okay, so we are going to chain four to begin with. We're then going to chain another two. And then in this fourth chain is where we're going to make our bobble stitches. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and we're going to make this count, these two chains here count as our first partial double crochet. So we're going to make the next four into this chain link. Okay, so one. two, three, and four. So we've got five loops on our hook and we're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops. And we're then going to chain two. Okay, so this little loop here which is where we've closed off before we've made our chain two. We're now going to make another four partial double crochets into that little space there. Okay, so there's one, two, three and four. Yarn over, pull through all of the loops. Okay, now we're going to fold this together and we're going to make a slip stitch into the same space here that we've made our first half of our pom-pom or bobble slip stitch through there and then in the bottom of the chain two that we made so in that bottom link there we're going to make another and get through there that's it whoops we're going to make another slip stitch in there and we're then going to chain four one two three four and in our bobble here, we made a single crochet into that bobble and it's only those single crochets that you're going to work into. Okay, just pull that out for a minute. Okay, so if your bobble looks a bit squished and flat, just give it a little push and it'll pop it out so it's nice and round. Okay, so again it's chain four. One, two, three, four. Then another two, which counts as our first partial double for our bobble. And then four more. One, Two. Sorry, right, just losing everything here. Three and four. Yarn over and pull through all of your loops 
and then chain one, two, and then again four more partial double crochets into that little loop on top. Two, oops, three, and four, yarn over through all five loops. Back down into the bottom there, make a slip stitch and then come across and slip stitch into the bottom of that chain two, chain four, one, two, three, four, single crochet into the single crochet, sorry, slip stitch into the single crochet made into the bobble. Okay, just give your bobble a little squish and it will become nice and round. Okay, so all you're going to do is carry on all the way along, chain four, make your double bobble, chain four, and slip stitch into the single crochet made into the bobble stitch. Okay, I will catch up with you once I get to the point. Okay, so as you've worked all the way along the side and you've made your last bobble, rather than coming into the point stitch which is made into the bobble, count along one, two, three, four, five, and then in that sixth stitch there, that's where we're going to make the slip stitch. Okay, and then for the point, repeat exactly the same as you've done with a chain four and then make a beginning bobble into there. So chain two and into that fourth chain, exactly the same as before. We're going to make four partial double crochets. And then again, chain two and make another oops, bubble stitch in here. And there's the fourth one. Slip stitch there the same as before and slip stitch into the first chain of that chain two and chain four. Okay so then we're going to match this on the other side so we've got one two and it's the third stitch down so not in that center stitch one, two, third stitch down, that's where we're going to join with a slip stitch over that center. Okay, and then carry on exactly the same down this side. So chain four, make your bobble and slip stitch into the single crochet made into that bobble stitch there. Okay, and I will catch up with you again at the other end. Okay, so we've come all the way along and made a slip stitch into that very last single crochet of that side, which is also where we've got our stitch marker. Because now we need to turn around again. Oops. 
if I can get this to stay all in one place. There we go. Okay. So now we are just going to make single crochets all the way along this edge. So we've got our slip stitch in there, in that last single crochet in the side there. We've got the um, chain one that we made here to lift us up and all of these. So what we're going to do is just chain one and then single crochet into that first chain one and it could be just a little bit tricky there we go to get into and then a single crochet through each of the slip stitches okay so just put your hook under both loops of the slip stitch and make a single crochet exactly as normal and if I just make a few more you will see why doing the edge like this makes it so much neater particularly when you're working with either lots of different colors or with self-striping yarn like the candy swirl okay so let me just zoom in to that let's bring it across here here we go okay so you can see that where we've done those slip stitches and then we're making the single crochet into the slip stitch we've just got this beautiful straight edge and there's no diving down sort of into the stitches no sort of uneven jaggedy look and it doesn't matter what color the slip stitches are and what color we're making the single crochets with here it all looks beautifully neat and even Okay, so just carry on all the way to the end and I will catch up with you again there. Okay, so we've come all the way along right to the very last part here which is into the chain one that we made as we turned and came up here. So just snip your end off, work this end away, work your end for your magic ring away and you now have your bubblegum shawl ready for you to enjoy and wear. Thanks for watching.